This video will talk about the effect of death on the accused. To give you a visual, this is our topic there. Now, a while ago, in, in the previous video, on topic 4, you saw this already about civil liability. Uh, but we discussed this one, Article 12 and Article 14. Now, we concentrate on this, this, this provision that says every person criminally liable for a felony is also civilly liable. Now, that's our springboard. So, what happens? What if a person has not been convicted me, and dies? No? Uh, an accused has not been convicted and dies. So, when you say has not been convicted, uh, we are talking about conviction by final judgment. So he, that, that accused may be found guilty by the trial court maybe, and uh, goes on appeal. And while on appeal, we know that that person, although found guilty by the trial court, provided the p appeal is pending, that person has not been convicted by final judgment. So what happens when that person dies? Well, there's this case of people my, uh, versus my loan. All right, so you just read this. Uh, you post the video, but essentially this is what happens when there is no final judgment the death will extinguish the criminal liability and of course because of article 100 that says criminal liability shall mean civil liability the death of the accused will also extinguish the civil liability but make but take note this is the important part civil liability arising from the crime arising from the crime remember that uh uh, there are different sources of civil civil liabilities, and it is enumerated in the civil code. So what are the sources of civil liabilities other than the crime? Well, there can be civil liability arising from con law contracts, quasi contracts, or quasi delic. Right. So this is a little bit of torts, but uh, when we talk about it, it from a criminal law perspective, you say uh, no final judgment. Criminal liability is extinguished because of the death. The person cannot, you know, serve imprisonment terms, and because civil liability is intertwined, civil liability arising from the crime is intertwined with the criminal liability. Civil liability is extinguished, but civil liabilities arising from other sources of civil liabilities, not the crime, they survive. So what happens if it survives? Well, the third step is you file a separate civil action against the state of that person so that's uh, the effect of death on the accused